Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. There is Denver, he is being a very supportive dog. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys some of the items that have been super useful since I got Denver. So I think that these are probably some of my favorite items for if you have a dog or a pet in general. I do have a puppy essentials video on my channel, so if you haven't seen that one, you should go check it out if you are looking for more of an essential video for what you need for your puppy. So let's get started. The first product is this air purifier by Hemox. It is their bigger version, which is perfect for a bigger room like this one that I have it in. Control panel is all touch screen, which is really cool and makes it super modern. There you see the on and off button. You can control what speed you have it on, put it on night mode or a timer. And there is also a child lock button, which is super cool. The super cool thing about this air purifier is that when you turn it on, it does change colors at the top. As you can see, mine is currently red. So red means that your air quality is actually very poor. And blue means that it is moderate and green means that your air quality is very good. And as you just saw, it turned green again. Sometimes it turns red if it's in a very, very dusty space and this apartment is very dusty. And here is Denver taking a little snooze on the bed, enjoying his purified air. How lucky are you? I've been looking for an air purifier for the last two months now and Hemox was kind enough to send me that one. So thank you Hemox. I really have been liking it. You can get it on Amazon and the Amazon link will be listed down below in my description box. It was so easy to set up. You just take it right out of the box and it comes with a little instruction manual and all you honestly have to do is hit the on button and adjust it to your preferences. This apartment is very dusty and that air purifier has been working so well over the last few weeks. I don't know why there is so much dust in this apartment. I can vacuum every other day. I can dust every other day and there will still be little dust bunnies and tumbleweeds of dust in the corners on the floor. Don't know why. Don't know. The air purifier has been working so well in this room and some of the benefits of having an air purifier is of course it purifies your air but it will get rid of any dust particles or any harmful chemicals that are in the air and it is also really, really good if you have pets. If you have pets that shed, which most of them do shed, or there is pet dander in the air, an air purifier will be awesome for you. It will keep your air nice and clean if there are little animal hair, little dog hair, cat hair floating around in your space. And in Denver's case, he is hypoallergenic, so he does not shed. But when I do give him a little haircut, his dander goes flying in the air sometimes. So the air purifier has been really, really great for that. Having an air purifier also neutralizes any odors that might be around. And if you have a puppy uh, that is not 100% potty trained yet, and I would say Denver's about 97% potty trained, the remaining 3% is his separation anxiety. Whenever we leave him alone, he gets so anxious that he ends up pooping himself, which is really fun for us personally. So having the air purifier has been so helpful because whenever he has one of his accidents, you just turn it on and it really helps getting rid of the odor. If your pet is having accidents in the house or if you have a new puppy, which they usually do have more frequent accidents, an air purifier is great because it will neutralize the air and make it smell not so bad. Really great for neutralizing odors. And again, if you have a dog, your dog is going in and out all day long and they will develop a smell, a outside wet dog smell because there is snow outside and when Denver gets back from his walks, he smells not so great. The air purifier has been really, really good with keeping the air nice and fresh and clean and I highly recommend. The Amazon link will be listed down in my description box if you want to go check it out. The next product is on the same topic of odors and having potty accidents in the house. This stuff is the absolute best. It is like magic in a bottle. This is my second bottle. The first one I finished within the first month of having Denver 
And that's saying a lot because when, because when Denver first came home, he would use the bathroom outside, I would say 70%, 75% of the time. Um, he really picked that up quickly to know that that's where he went, but puppies use the bathroom so frequently. You have to take them out every 30 minutes to an hour. Did have a good amount of accidents in the house just because he was a puppy and they go so much more often. I was taking Denver out every hour, every 45 minutes to an hour, and that sometimes still was not enough. Um, it actually turns out that he had a UTI and he had to go on antibiotics and he's feeling much better. I felt so bad because he developed his UTI a few weeks after we got him. First few weeks at home were so good. He would have a few accidents in the house, but around week three or four of having him, I noticed that Denver was peeing three times within an hour, and I didn't think that was normal. But since I was taking him out every 45 minutes to an hour, I thought that was a little weird that he was going three times within an hour, and I'm not a dog expert, but I'm gonna say that totally is not normal, and I called his vet and told him about it, and it turns out he did have a UTI, and he had to go on antibiotics, and he's all better now. So a lot of his accidents from going into month two of having him was because of his UTI, so I was not even mad at him. I couldn't blame him. He's so much better at using the bathroom outside now. Like I said, he will only have accidents because of his separation anxiety when we are not home. It's just so good at getting rid of any stains or odors. I have never had an issue uh, getting rid of an odor or a stain or anything like that after Denver has had an accident. This product works so, so well. You can get this at Target, PetSmart, Amazon, Walmart. I'm pretty sure you can pick this up anywhere. The next product is super duper essential, especially if you have a golden doodle or any kind of doodle. It is a slicker brush. I got this one off of Amazon and it works so, so well. So with doodles, if you have one, you know that they don't shed, but because of the kind of fur that they have where they're not shedding often like other dogs, their fur does have to be brushed out on a daily basis so it doesn't get matted. If your dog does end up getting matted, they're gonna have to shave it and that's just really sad. So if you have any kind of doodle, you know that they're a little more high maintenance in the aspect of grooming, but in my opinion, I think that's so worth it because they don't shed and there's not hair all over your house or all over you. With any kind of doodle, you do have to brush them. Recommended to do it on a daily basis just so they don't get matted. This specific slicker brush has just been so good. Denver doesn't mind it, he just kind of sits there, especially if your dog is going on trails or just walking around anywhere. The type of fur that doodles have, it will attract leaves or any kind of twigs or brush from outside to get stuck in there. It's kind of like Velcro their fur. So it's very important that you brush them out on a daily basis to see if anything's stuck in there. The other two items are these little balls, which he's obsessed with and I'm obsessed with too. They're so great. You can put peanut butter in these, stuff them with treats, and these will keep your dog occupied for some time. These have been so good for his teeth because he is teething, so he'll chew on these and you can toss them around. And these are super durable. I got these for him for Christmas off of Amazon. Blue one is the one that he uses more. And as you can see, there are little teeth marks in there, but these hold ups are better than a tennis ball, which your dog is gonna ruin in the matter of minutes. These are way more durable. You could throw them around, stuff them with treats, and he loves them. Dogs love to chew, and puppies are teething, so they're gonna wanna bite anything and everything. Luckily, I have not had any issues with Denver chewing on furniture or ruining anything. He's been a really, really good dog for the last two months, and he's not chewed on any of the furniture or ruined anything. Um, I think I've just been really lucky because I've heard some horror stories of people's dogs just kind of ruining their furniture and just tearing things up. He's really good about knowing where his toys are and that he's allowed to play with just his toys and he doesn't play with any other things. He doesn't knock things over or go after any of our things, which has been really great. I think it's really important to get your dogs chew toys so they don't end up chewing on your things. Um, especially puppies, these are really great. You really wanna get your dogs stimulating things to keep them busy because a bored dog will take its boredom out on your home and you do not want that. Oh, there he is, he hears it. 
And the next item will probably be one of my favorite treats to give him. They are these Zooks mini treats. So these are their holiday editions. I got this for Denver as a Christmas present as well. He was very spoiled this Christmas. He got so many toys that he probably doesn't need any more toys or treats for the next year. These are my favorite training treats for Denver. I really like Zooks. I think they're a great brand and they have very wholesome ingredients in their treats. This is their holiday edition and Denver loves it. And for training your dog, you do wanna get training treats and these ones are just three calories each. Whenever I do training with Denver, we're going through a lot of these. We're going through 10 to 12 with training him. Positive reinforcement. Bribe your dog with food. And that is how they learn. So bribe your dogs with food. That is basically how you train your pet. The next item is this really long leash. It is 20 feet long. And I actually recently just got this off of Amazon. It came in the mail a few days ago. I am currently trying to train Denver on not being as reactive as he is in public. I think he's growing into his personality now. He's becoming a little more territorial. So when we are in the yard and he sees other people or dogs walking by, he will bark at them. I have been training him for like the last few weeks now on not being as reactive. Uh, when he sees people and other dogs. If I were to take him to the park, he can explore further and see that people and dogs are a normal thing and I can still control him because I have the other end of the leash. It's really good for practicing recall. I would like to eventually get him to be really good off leash. On the same topic as the leash, there he is watching. He knows this video is all about him. The next really essential item is his harness. I believe I got his harness about a few weeks after having him because he was starting to go on walks and I needed something more secure than just his collar. So a harness is so much better for your dog because it won't pull on their neck. It is a front class harness which makes it very easy for leash training so he won't be able to pull as much as he would if the clasp was on his back or if I was just using his collar. So much easier to control him and leash train him. And I do recommend getting a harness that has a front clasp and your dog won't be able to pull because the clasp is on the front. So if they pull, they just kind of turn around. So this is really, really great. Next item is this puppy shampoo by Burt's Bees. This is super duper gentle. It is their two-in-one tearless shampoo and conditioner. This has been so great. I have given Denver a few baths now. I think I've been giving him one about every three and a half or four weeks it's just because he's been getting so dirty playing in the snow. When we first picked him up from the breeder, he smelled like a farm animal and not even the good kind. Like he smelled so, so bad. And I asked the breeder, I was like, can I give him a bath? When is the earliest time I can give him a bath? Um, and she was like, well, we gave him a bath yesterday, so he should be good for a while. And I was like, oh no, oh no, no. And he smelled so, so, so bad. So <laughs> the day after bringing him home, I immediately gave him a bath, even though he got one the day before. I just, it was bad. It was such a bad situation and their shampoo helped so much. On the same topic as dog hygiene and keeping them smelling great and clean are these Burt's Bees wipes. These have been so, so helpful because it is so wet and muddy and snowy and gross outside. Whenever Denver comes inside, I like to wipe his paws and his entire body up just so he can keep on smelling good and remain clean. The next item is this little nail clipper. This is super important if you have a dog or cat in general. It makes it super easy to cut their nail. His nails grow so fast and of course he doesn't know that when he's jumping up on me he's scratching me so his nails do get a little sharp he has little puppy claws so i do like to use this to clip them and this is super gentle and safe for their little nail next item is this snuffle mat it is a little dirty and has peanut butter on it so this is another great item for really stimulating your pet keeping them busy having them forage for their treats and food used to inhale all of his food, scarf it all down, and now he doesn't do that anymore. The snuffle mat was super good because I would pour his food in here and it's like fake grass and he would have to basically forage for his food and he would eat much slower, which would be so much better for his stomach and give him way less 
heartburn and gas and all of that because he would just inhale all of his food and then get the hiccups. You can put treats in here and have them forage for it and it will really keep them busy and improve their little hunting skills. And I think that's just about all of it. The last product I am gonna talk about is probably my favorite product. I got the Bissell Little Green Clean Machine and it has been so, so good. If you have a dog, us are going outside so many times a day and then coming back in the house with their dirty little paws and stuff. This little machine right here from Bissell. This is the little brush that you can spray and really scrub with. And this is the clean water. This is where the dirty water goes. As you can see, it's gross in there. And I've only used it like one time. I got this last week and I ended up cleaning the entire apartment that night. I think that little machine is so useful, especially if you just got a puppy or have a dog in general, because your dog is outside so much. They're coming in, they're on your rugs, your couches, wherever they're allowed, and those areas are gonna get so, so dirty. So I ended up cleaning his dog bed, that rug, the rug in the living room, the couch, and it was disgusting what came out. It was not surprising. It was so gross. The water was literally dirt water because he has had a good amount of accidents for when we first got him on the rug, on the floors, and it's important to keep those areas of your house clean. Those are all of the items that I have today. And again, these are just some products that I have been loving and I have found super helpful and useful since having him. I think these are really great products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of the new subscribers are here for you. They love you. Say hi everyone, thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of this cute little face. Bye.